Fareed Zakaria GPS, seen in Sunday morning, 10 Eastern and Pacific. Now for our What in the World segment. What got my attention this week was a claim by Iran's President Mahmoud Ahmadinejad. This one isn't about nuclear weapons or Israel or the Holocaust. It's about execution. President Ahmadinejad claims that there is a death penalty double standard. On the one hand, he says, the Western world is coming down on Iran because it may put a woman to death by stoning. And on the other hand, nobody protests against the execution this week of a woman in America. Okay, so let's do some comparisons. We'll start at the macro and move to the micro. The United States executed 52 people in 2009. So far this year, 38 executions have taken place. Now, for those opposed to the death penalty, this is obviously 38 deaths too many. But in Iran in 2009, the regime put more than 388 people to death and has already executed 180 to date this year, according to Amnesty International. Amnesty says that included in last year's grim tally for Iran were one execution by stoning, 14 public executions, 77 killed by mass execution, and five people put to death for crimes they committed when they were under the age of 18. In the United States, there were no stonings, no public executions, no mass executions, and nobody executed for crimes committed as a juvenile. Amnesty says Iran executes people for political reasons and that they saw a huge spike in executions in the days and weeks after the disputed Iranian elections of last June, June of 2009. 112 people were executed, they say, that month alone. The United States, of course, does not execute people for political reasons. So what of these two specific cases? In Iran, it is this woman, Sakina Mohammadi Ashtiani, who has been sentenced to death by stoning. She was convicted of adultery and is now being accused of complicity in the murder of her husband, a charge she vehemently denies. In the United States, in the state of Virginia, it is this woman, Teresa Lewis, who has been executed by lethal injection. She pled guilty to hiring two men to kill her husband and stepson. Lewis's supporters say she is mentally impaired, but the Supreme Court allowed her execution to continue. So again, whatever your views on the death penalty, you can see that these are different cases. While we're discussing this topic, listen to Bernard-Henri Levy, my guest from last week, as he is, uh, describes stoning. The men are buried till the waist in order to have a chance to escape. The women have no chance. Buried till there, a, a group of men gather around them and they stone them with stones, not too big, in order that the suffering lasts as much as possible and, uh, and, and, and not too small in order that they kill. And the target is to transform the face of the woman into a pulp. Now, let's go back to President Ahmadinejad's original claim. He says that there was much more coverage worldwide of the Sakina case than the Lewis case. And you know what? He's right. A LexisNexis search for last month shows six times as many articles on the stoning case in Iran than the lethal injection case in Virginia. But given the differences I've mentioned, I think this is justifiable. And all this coverage might actually be having an effect. On Larry King, President Ahmadinejad seemingly changed his tune, now saying that Sakina has not been sentenced to death by stoning and that nothing has been decided. So let's hope that Iran makes the right moral decision on this crucial case.